Welcome to my Cuddly Stitches Craft channel. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet a curly cue for your amigurumi toy. Just like the vines that I made for my pumpkin here. This is a technique that you can use for various toys. For example, you can use this to crochet a mane for your unicorn or to crochet tentacles for your octopus or jellyfish. If you would like to crochet the pumpkin featured in this video, then you can find the free pattern on my blog or in the description below this video. Ok, so I will show you how I crocheted the vines for my pumpkin and how you can start the curly cue already attached to your work so you don't have to sew it on. So I'll make a start at the base of the stem and I want the vines to fall down on the side of the pumpkin. But you can of course crochet the curly cue as a separate piece and then sew it on. So start by creating a slip knot on your hook. And then insert your hook into your work. So I will insert it here where my color change is. And I will do a single crochet stitch. So insert your hook. The stitch may be a bit tight, so you may need to give it a little wiggle. And do your single crochet. So yarn over and pull through the stitch. You may need to pull on the tail a bit. Yarn over and pull through both loops. If needed, pull on the tail again. And continue by chaining 30 stitches. But of course, if you want the curly cue to be longer, then you need to make a longer chain. And if you choose to crochet the curly cue as a separate piece, then you just need to create the slip knot on your hook and crochet the chain without inserting the hook into your work. Ok, so this is the chain of 30 stitches completed. You then need to do two single crochets into the second chain from the hook. So not this one, but the second chain. So that's one and the second single crochet into the same stitch. Then do two single crochets into the next stitch. So that's one and two. And from now on you will be taking turns between three single crochets into one stitch and two single crochets into another. So I will show you a few more stitches and then I will fast forward. So that's three single crochets into this stitch. So that's one, two, three, then two single crochets in the next one, one, two, now three single crochets in the next one, one, two, three, two single crochets in the next one, three single crochets in the next one, one, two, and three, two single crochets in the next one, one, two, 
three single crochets in the next one. One, two, and three. Two single crochets in the next one. Two, three single crochets in the next one. One, two, and three. Two single crochets in the next one. One, and two. Okay, so you can see how it's already starting to curl and it's nice and bouncy. Now as you continue to crochet down the chain, it will gradually get shorter as it curls up. I will now fast forward and will meet you when I am at the end of the chain ready to weave the yarn ends in. Okay, so here I am at the end of the chain and I have three stitches left. So I'm going to continue crocheting following the same pattern. So I have two stitches here in the last stitch that I have done. So now I have to do three single crochets into the next one. It's now going to get a bit fiddly as the stem is in the way, so you just need to be a bit patient. Okay, so here is the last stitch, so it's just three single crochets into the last stitch. Okay, so that's the curly cue finished and all there is left to do is to weave the yarn tails in. So cut this yarn strand off. Pull it out and thread your yarn needle with it. Insert the needle into the same stitch where you inserted your hook when we started the chain. And come out through the back of the pumpkin. And pull on the tail tight. Now 
Now thread your needle with the other tail and insert it into the same stitch. And come out through the same stitch on the back of the pumpkin. Okay, pull on the tails tight and just check your curly cue is looking good and neat. And if needed, you can pull on the tails again. Tie a double knot with both ends and you will pull the knot inside your work. So thread your needle with one of the tails Insert your needle into the same stitch the tails are coming out from and come out with the needle. And pull on the tail tight until the knot disappears inside your work. You can then cut the yarn tails off. Let's just tidy up the stitches a bit. And we are done. Okay, so that's the curly cue done. It's looking good, nice and bouncy. And if you are crocheting my pumpkin, then you can crochet the second vine exactly the same way. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to receive an update when I add a new video. Thank you for watching.